Hello, Boomer Tech family. Welcome back to another exciting episode. Today, we're diving into some advanced tips for using your Samsung One UI on your Samsung phone. So whether you're a tech savvy senior or just looking to get more out of your device, these tips will help you navigate your phone like a pro. Let's get started. First of all, let's talk about customizing your notifications. Did you know that you can change the style of your notifications to make them more readable? Here's how. Go to your settings, tap on the second card. Now scroll down to where it says notifications and tap on it. Tap on notifications pop-up style. Now here you have two types of notifications. You have the brief style that shows minimum information while you have the detail that gives you more context. You can also customize the edge lighting to make them stand out. So tap on edge lighting style. Now you'll notice that you have three different settings that you can use. Let's look at the effect. Tap on the effect and you have basic wave, bubble, glitter, hearts, fireworks, and eclipse. You can also change the color. Tap on color. You can choose auto or you can choose color. Just simply pick a color and then hit done. Now let's also look at the third one, advanced. When you tap on advanced, you can increase or decrease the transparency of the lights around the edge. And you can increase or decrease the duration by making it short or long. Next, let's explore the notification history feature. This is a lifesaver if you accidentally dismiss a notification and need to find it again. So again, go to settings, go to notifications, tap on advanced settings, tap on notification history. Make sure that it is toggled on. Now you'll be able to see all your notifications dismissed from the past 24 hours. Another great feature is the edge panel. These give you quick access to your favorite apps, contacts, and more. To set up the edge panel, go to settings, and tap on it. Then scroll down to edge panel and tap on it. Here you can enable the edge panel and customize them to include the apps and tools that you use most often. To do that, you simply tap on panel. Now you will see a list of panels that you can add to the edge. You have apps, you have people, you have smart select, tasks, live messages, weather or tools, reminders, and clipboard. Once you've enabled whichever one you would like to use, you go back. Now you'll notice the edge will be a slight panel on the side of your screen. And to get to the edge, you simply Tap and hold. Now you can scroll through the different panels that you have selected. Finally, let's look at digital well-being. This feature helps you to manage your screen time and maintain a healthy balance. To get to this feature, go to settings, scroll down until you see digital well-being and parental control and tap on it. Here it gives you a plethora of information. It will tell you how, how long you've been on the screen. I've had 53 minutes with video, four minutes with other, two minutes with productivity and finance. It tells you the most used apps and how much time you spent with the most used apps. 48 minutes with YouTube, five minutes with IP Smarter, and four minutes with setting. You can even set goals. 
For example, let's set a timer for the YouTubes. I tap set timer, then I choose the days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I only wanna spend 30 minutes, tap done. Now a timer is set. You can keep track of your driving monitor. It tells you when, how much your phone is used while driving. Walking monitor tells you how to how much you use your phone while walking. And you have a volume monitor that will check how loudly you are listening. And then finally, you have the parental controls. You can tap on this and then you can set up parental controls by following the prompt on the screen. And there you have it. Some advanced tips to help you to get the most out of your Samsung One UI. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech tips. Thanks for watching. And now if you like this video or if you learn something from this video, you might learn something more from this one.